Mr. Trump's uh, um, uh, inauguration is just in a few days, and we very much believe that, on one hand, it can lead to uh, fast economic growth in the United States, and secondly, clear up uh, some uh, problems which we have in the relationship between our two countries, including sanctions, and that, of course, will help the Russian economy. So we we encouraged by the latest statement of Mr. Trump, but we still have to see uh, what his policy is when he's a president. Uh, after the negative growth last year, we expect uh, the positive growth of about uh, 1.3, 1.5 percent. That's something in line with the growth in, in Europe in general. Uh, but still, uh, many obstacles should be removed, and that's the Russian government working on this to create a fast economic growth and to reach the growth of uh, at least average uh, world growth of around 3 percent. Of course, the level of our relationship is not uh, very high at the moment, but uh, previously we um, had a quite a, a big uh, investors flow from the United States. Of course, the New York is still uh, the largest uh, probably uh, market, financial market, so that could be a good investment. There's a lot of cooperation in the uh, oil industry, for example, in some other areas. So I think there's a big scope of cooperation between, between Russia and American companies and American investors. We very much welcome this. We will have positive growth. One of the main achievements we expect that we'll, we can will manage to bring inflation lower than four percent. We expect 3.8 percent. That will be the lowest since uh, modern Russia, actually, uh, and uh, the beginning of modern Russia. So it's quite an important. I think uh, we'll, uh, that will uh, provide a good opportunity for our, I mean, for, for the stable economic growth, and particularly for investors to have a, a good view on the prospects of their investment in Russia.